Hi, my name is Jonathan Alexander, and welcome to this week's Two Minutes of Encouragement. A few weeks ago, I had the privilege of hosting our foster daughter to come stay with us during the holidays, and boy, was it a privilege. You know, we've had her in our family for over a year now, and to have her back during the holidays was just a wonderful experience. But when she had to go back to Washington State, I reflected on the journey my wife and I have been on called foster care. And it started with us receiving our license, and then we had to do additional trainings. And every single year, we had the same instructor for the same trainings, and he loved this exercise called the wellness wheel. He talked about how before we can truly care for others, we need to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves. And so we had to be self-reflective. And this wellness wheel was simply a circle that was divided in eight different sections. And he had us color in each section to the degree in which we felt we fulfilled that area. So if it was finance and we were managing money really well, we'd color the whole thing in. Or if we were not really knowing where our money was going, we'd just barely make a dent in that section. And he talked about how wellness is not found in excelling in one, two, or even three of these areas, but being holistic, being balanced in all of the areas. And when we can be balanced in life, we're able to perform in what he called our optimal baseline. Our optimal baseline allows us to listen to difficult situations, to take in difficult situations and respond effectively, to respond compassionately, thoughtfully, sometimes even creatively. We're thinking clearly when we're at our optimal baseline. Now I share this with you today because each of us as service members need to care for the person to our left and to our right as we are family. But before we can truly care for each other, we need to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves. So I encourage you, go ahead and take a look at this wellness wheel. Go ahead and do that exercise. But ask yourself, am I performing at my optimal baseline? And if not, why not? Where can I improve? You know, our circumstances can't always change, but our perspective can always change. So please don't forget that it's doing, not listening, that makes all the difference. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you again next week.